Okay guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this multi-cam poncho. It's called the Opsite Poncho, and I'll leave links to where you can buy it. I've owned this for probably four or five years now, and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. I wanted to wait for a day when it was raining, but days like that, it's not that fun to be you know, out hiking around. But before I take it out, you know, I you can roll it, you can fold it, you can do whatever, but this is a, called a Kefaru pull-out pouch. I don't know the exact size, but I found it easiest to just stuff it in. And it might take up a little more space, but you can cram it in your backpack with it being loose packed. <clears throat> so what this is, is just your standard military poncho. I think it's a 70 denier nylon. The advantage of this over your standard military poncho is it's a little longer and it's a little wider and it's multi-cam. So as, as you can see, there's a few advantages to ponchos over a rain jacket when you're hiking. The first one, I took my backpack off, but if you're needing to hike out of a campsite and it starts thunderstorming, you're able to throw a poncho on over you and your backpack to keep your backpack dry. The other thing is, because you're not sealed in, you don't get super clammy. As you can see, it has a hood back here. I'll leave it off for now. I like multi-purpose gear and the other advantage to this being camouflage and it's not the best conditions where we're at today and multi-cam in my area isn't the best camo but it does break up your outline and it camouflages you a little bit if you're bow hunting or you know you're just trying to like hide out in the woods. So you can see down here there's snaps to snap it together if you want to wear it like a traditional poncho and right here if you are short or if you're not wearing a backpack as you can see now it's almost hitting the ground so you can see me wearing it I'm about six foot two it's almost touching the ground maybe it is so all that you do is you take these two snaps one on each side and there's a snap in the middle but we won't snap it and now it's off the ground so if you're wearing a backpack a complaint of your standard poncho especially if you're wearing a military type bulky backpack is it causes the back of the poncho to ride up here exposing your lower legs to still getting wet. The other advantage to that extra length is if you're going to turn this into a poncho hooch or some type of emergency shelter, having that extra, you know, two feet or so, it just allows you a little more space for your shelter. So you can see the width, I'll put the dimensions on camera, but it feels a little wider than your military poncho which is beneficial if you're, you know, if you have a larger frame, it's just you have a little more fabric. And there's different tips and tricks, like you can pull, you can pull your two outers in, and there's a grommet, you can use a little S-beaner, just so it's tighter fitting. Now a lot of people think the rain poncho is only good for when it's raining, but also when the weather's cool, and you're maybe you think you might be starting hypothermia and you want to take a quick break the benefit of the poncho most people know you can turn it into a shelter but they don't realize that in cold weather this being windproof and waterproof you know it's not that windy and it's not that cold today but you can crouch down or kneel down and you have an enclosure 
you can put the hood on and then pull your arms in and you have a small microclimate, you have a small shelter, and you're camouflaged. The other big thing is if you're really passionate about playing hide and go seek with your buddies in the woods, when wearing this, you can just lay down. Where'd he go? <laughs> Sorry. And camouflage yourself. Now that was a little tongue in cheek, uh, you know, but there are maybe some circumstances where you wanna hide yourself, camouflage yourself. And the fact that this is camouflage and it breaks out the outline of a human body, you know, from far away, um, you might be hard to see. So really quick, like I said, it's not the primary purpose of a poncho, but the fact that this is camo and it does break up your silhouette. I'm just gonna go off this way maybe 30 feet, 40 feet, and crouch, stand, and I guess you guys will see on camera if it breaks up my outline um, enough. So as you can see, it's probably not the most effective way of camouflaging yourself. And depending on the environment, once it greens up here, this multi-cam works pretty well where we live. But keeping in mind that its primary purpose isn't to camouflage yourself, but you can use it as rain gear. You can make a shelter out of it. You can use it as camouflage. You can use it as either a static or a mobile shelter meaning you know if it's raining like we talked about before you can crouch down hunker down for five minutes and stay dry stand up and keep walking and the fact that you can throw it on you know if you're wearing I'm wearing a chest pack right now if you're wearing like a chest rig or a backpack you can throw it on everything and it keeps you and all your gear pretty dry and one last advantage to that tail is you can, if you want to make a low profile quick shelter, is you can drape it around and then snap it to itself.
And then if you had tent, tent pegs or if you wanted to carve some, you could attach each corner, take a, take a string, wrap it around up to a branch and you'd have a quick little uh, bivy type shelter that you could crawl into. Okay guys, so all in all, this might not be the lightest one. This might not even be the best one, but it is a really good option. You can get cheaper military styled ponchos on Amazon, but keep in mind this one with that extendable tail gives you, you know, one to two extra feet if you want to make a shelter or if you're tall or if you routinely wear a backpack. I know different outdoor manufacturers, outdoor gear makers make lightweight ponchos using like sil nylon. The few downsides of that compared to this is it's a thinner fabric. Sil nylon is lightweight and packable, but it's really crinkly, especially in cold weather. And they're also normally in bright colors like blue and lime green. So it cuts down on some versatility, but those ones will be uh, lighter. But I like the fact that this is a slightly more rugged fabric. I like the fact that it's multi-cam and I like the fact that it's American made. So in closing, um, you know, this might not be for everybody, but I think a lot of people forget the versatility of the standard poncho. You know, you could keep this in your vehicle, you could keep it in a get home bag, um, a bug out bag and that type of thing. And the fact that it can do a lot of different things um, fairly well, and it's just one piece of fabric that weighs about a pound and a half and it packs down fairly small. Um, in my mind, because of that fact, it's really versatile and for me, kind of a necessity. So like always, I'll leave a link to where you can buy this down below the video. I might leave a link to Amazon to some alternatives that might be cheaper or easier to buy. And like always, you can go back to my homepage, watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And like I said in the beginning of the video, some people fold these, some people roll them up really compact. The reason I like this is when you're done with it, it's fairly easy to repack. So packing it this way, like I said, might take up a little more space, but if you want to cinch it down with some paracord or some bungee cords, it packs fairly small and it packs really quick.